turn on. Bueno, bueno, sí. I would like to report a low water crossing that here in my street that doesn't have any signs posted. What's up with that, man? Okay, what seems to be the problem? The crossing has no markings at all, and here in my town, everybody's driving like crazy, and there's no nothing that alerts drivers. Okay. Well, we will send out a team to look at the situation, and we'll note all the existing features and signs in the area and around the crossing. Then we will think about the best way to fix the problem. You can't drive, damn it. You about to get us hit. We about to swerve off the road. Shut up. Yes, yes. No, not you. The other dude over there. Oh, lordy. Uh, uh. You, you can't drive, man. I'm, I'm about to put my seatbelt off for this. Yes, okay. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. So, yes, yes. Um, I need signs here in my ah! town, in my street. Because, no, this is a mess. I'm serious, man. Like, I can't even walk and exercise. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll put your request into the system. Do you like a callback about the problem? Yes, yes. Um, so tell me, tell me, how does the process work? What do I have to do to make my street better? That maybe adding more signs, a gate to lock off the crossing, or in some cases, signs already in place and are adequate and nothing needs to be done. After visiting the location in the field, we will then record or observe the place at work or order in regards to the, the problem. Do you have any more questions? Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Well, the fire department uh, works in different ways to be able to respond to the customers out there in saving their lives. There are special circumstances uh, uh, like today. It's a very, very wet day, and uh, San Antonio is very, uh, uh, it's been very prone to and susceptible to floods. So here in San Antonio, we do have a uh, two fire stations that are focused on rescue and uh, uh, water safety. And it, so, in, in that regard, we have the capabilities to be able to go in there during flood situations. If someone were to be captured in floodwaters. We have the tools and the equipment and the personnel to be able to go in there to try our very best to, to, to help out the individuals in that situation. The flood waters are very, very strong. And just a matter of a couple of feet of water can actually pull a vehicle uh, just like a boat. It, it'll be floating in water. It doesn't, it doesn't take but a few inches of water to kind of to cause your tires to float as well. It's so treacherous when you have the water uh, pushing so hard, it can move bodies, move vehicles, and it also puts our firefighters at risk as well. So be very aware of their surroundings. If you don't have to be out there, don't be. Uh, we have a message that always we push every single year is turn around, don't drown.